birthday, dear weekly guitar meeting. Uh, uh, okay, let's start. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the anniversary edition of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. So it's now one year. One year since we started this uh, new year format. Ago, yeah. yeah, surely we will continue with the weekly guitar meeting because yeah. the feedbacks were very good, very amazing. The, it helps the people a lot to have a better idea of the sound of the guitars. Yeah, thanks to them, who's always supporting our videos, I think, and commenting about the instruments, very detailed Very detailed, yeah. yeah. I think, of course, it's not only good for us, it's helpful for the community. Exactly. To, mm -hmm. to understand, to criticize, you know, the instrument. And also for the people who are looking for new instrument, mm -hmm. And for people who are still have no ideas about classical guitars, yeah. I think we have created a hopefully useful platform yeah. for the community. Yeah, I hope so. Today, for the anniversary edition of the weekly guitar meeting, we have four absolutely magical instruments. Some people consider as the Truly best the best the best classical guitar. guitar classical guitars which yeah. is played by of course it is the biggest names it is subjective but like it's always subjective yeah, yeah. but, but the fact is that these guitars are being played by the most famous and best classical guitarists and it's not easy to get and yeah it's probably yeah. the hardest guitars to get yeah yeah and i would say let's start with the we will do everything together. First one, yeah. And yeah, exactly. Today we you will... Have, you have to introduce me again. They, may, they, may, they, they know you already. already. You they are, might already forget. You, you are a superstar, Jonathan. Maestro Jonathan. Exactly. We will review every guitar today together with Jonathan. So thanks for your time. Oh, and man. I think also the people are very happy to meet you again after a few weeks. Right? I think they have had enough of me. So... Um, Maybe next week uh, you can do that. Anyway, let's start with the first guitar. Okay, let's okay. start now. <laughs> you want to join us? He's our boss. <laughs> founder. He's the founder. Come. Founder. The maestro. Food is ready. Oh, oh. Food is ready. Let's eat first and then we start with this guitar. We will be back in a few minutes. Okay, we will have a lunch break. I'm full. Me too. But at least we have now enough energy to... Present. I hope we don't get sleepy. I don't think so. All right, because the crazy guitars. So, the first guitar is made by Matthias Daman. This is a 1992 Matthias Daman solid top guitar. Not double top. Not solid double top. top. Solid top. I honestly speaking, now I'm I'm being honest with you, like. Come on, we have tried a lot of guitars, mm -hmm. perhaps more guitars than anybody. Yeah. To my taste, this is one of the top five guitar I ever. This is the top five guitar I've ever played. For me, it's in top three guitar even. Oh my god! That I played. Even. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. It see, it has a cedar top, of course, uh, solid top, not double top. And uh, see, guys, Wenge back and sides. Ah, this is Wenge. Wenge back and wow. sides. Wow, look beautiful. Very rare because yeah. not a lot of uh, guitar luthiers can work with, with Wenge. Wenge. Yeah, yeah. Well, how how you pronounce it? Wenge or Weng Wenge? Wenge. Wenge or Wenge? Wenge. 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 <laughs> Wenge. Wenge. Yeah. Anyway. And for those who uh, are new to our channel and uh, still don't know a lot about the guitars and the classical guitar histories, the guitars of Matthias Daman are probably the hardest guitars to find and to get. Very, very highly sought after. Yeah. And 
Yeah, nowadays even if you have the money, it's not necessarily you can get the guitar that easy. Yeah. And especially the solid top daman, it's even harder to get. Yeah. And I can assure you, the solid top daman is as good as the double top, the famous double top daman. You know, now I can understand why people play Matthias Daman guitar. Yes. Many people know that uh, Matthias Daman builds double top, uh, double top guitar, mm-hmm. good double top guitar, but not. Don't forget, he builds also great, great solid, solid top, top, guitar top guitar before. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So I would say I give you the privilege. <sighs> Thank you to... very much. Come on, Jayan, entertain us. Such a perfect guitar. It looks so perfect, so well, everything very well calculated, yeah, yeah. very fine built, very light. I will just start to play on yeah. it. Exactly the first thing what I also noticed it's so even you can trust this guitar so much mm-hmm. and uh, unbelievable well balanced but the sound character of this one is just such a beautiful sound this is um, dark I have to say it tends sound a bit dark on the trebles mm-hmm. but still it still has the brilliance I mean, because the tone separation yeah. is. I hope wow. you can hear, but from here it sounds natural to, yeah. to my ear. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, it is a cedar top guitar. Uh, I would not say this is a Spanish guitar. You know, uh, it still has the modern, modern taste, modern character, yeah, character to yeah. it. But I mean, it's very beautiful. Yeah, let's play a bit more. Yeah, then. go ahead. very comfortable yeah yeah you it gives me a comfortable feeling to play mm-hmm. because everything is very musical it's a very trustable guitar and it doesn't surprise you suddenly on some yes, notes totally and uh, also the sound color is very beautiful yeah it has its own character every daman guitar what i um, heard until now but you can put your own personality in the guitar. It's very even, again, yeah. very even, you know? Like, I don't hear any drastic jump on the notes. Which is normal mm-hmm. on on many guitars. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like uh, yeah. Yesterday uh, we had our friends test the guitar, mm-hmm. guitar maker. Yeah, he told me like it seems that Matthias Daman knows ex- every centimeters of the guitar. 
how it should be to yeah, yeah, reach yeah. some yeah. goals. Yeah. Some, uh, yeah. To be honest, I could talk about this guitar the whole day. Please play you something. Play you. Um, play me. Play you. Play, please play something cool. Yes. Just play a few notes. I want to hear this guitar from the All other right. side. I've never heard you so comfortable and so good sounding on a guitar. You mean oh, really? I sound better on other guitar? <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. It's the guitars. No, no, no. But it was one take. So usually we need two tries. Sometimes there are one or two dirty notes and we record it again. It was now just the first. The first playability day. is simply and, amazing. Yeah, and you looked also very relaxed and. The clarity, the clarity, the tone separation of this guitar. Whew. Cedar top. I mean, cedar, cedar top. Cedar top. Yeah. Cedar top. Cedar top. And, uh, okay, play, play a bit more. The overtone is very rich. Yeah. The overtone very is rich very rich. Overtones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got lucky. Yeah. And <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah. I mean, we can discuss about this yeah, guitar the whole, the whole night long. I would say we just stop and let the our subscribers, yeah, uh, write I mean, in the comments guys, what they think about the sound. If you are looking for Matthias Daman guitar, even if you are looking for double top Matthias Daman, consider this. Yeah. You know, because it because has the power of a double top guitar. It's, yeah, it's I, I have to say maybe uh, a little bit less mm -hmm. power than the double top of Matthias Daman, but I don't think you will need more power than this. Honestly speaking, this is among the loudest guitar I've played. Yeah, yeah. Loud in terms of, I would I wouldn't say the loudness, but the clarity and the projection. Yeah, yeah. it makes things very. You know, if everything is clear, it sounds clear. Yeah. You don't need like crazy, you don't crazy, need the volume. crazy volume. You yeah. Know? You don't need. You, you yeah. need the clarity. And with this volume, mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. I think it's. And enough. also the charming sounds. Incredible yeah. guitar. So by the way, move let's the move to the next, next one. Yeah. The next guitar is from 1932. 1932. It's very light. It almost flies. Like yeah, this is a 1932 Domingo Esteso. Uh, it has press top and cypress back and sides honestly back then 
it's not necessarily a flamenco guitar, you know? Mm -hmm. Guitar was a guitar. And of course, uh, this one has a, a peg head style, you know, tuning mm -hmm. machine. Traditional, no mechanic at all, it's just wood, you know? And yeah, this is a very contrasty than the other guitars, perhaps. Uh, I would say, let's hear how it sounds. I think it's nice. Why not? Spanish. Spanish. As you already said, Spanish colorful vintage. Yeah, vintage, 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 yeah. vintage. I kind of like though the sound. I mean, honestly, um, you know, traditional guitar, non double top thing is my thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. He loves, he loves. Yeah, him. yeah. I, I really love. I mean, mm -hmm. um, it feels like easy to listen to. Yeah, you know, the guitar is mm -hmm. easy to listen to. Yeah, and I don't know what do you what do you feel by playing the guitar. So from the first impression, as I said, the color, the color, the vintage sound and the response, it responds very, very well and very soft. But I will play more, then I can say more to the sound. Yes. What a gentle sound. Yeah. Very gentle sound. It's not the it's it it's not a modern guitar. It's not loud and pushing forward. Volume it's very is nice soft. though. Volume, volume is nice though, I think. Ah, okay. Uh, you from, you from hear here, it from your yeah, side? Yeah, okay. It's nice Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's always very different what you hear here. Yes. And what you hear from the other side. And from For what some, the microphone. And, and the microphone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that being said that to understand and to, to feel the real sound of a guitar, you have to have it in your hands and play it. Yeah. Of so, course, I mean, that's the best way. Of course, here we try to give, you know, any possible medium for the Exactly. We try to, to keep the sound as neutral as, um, possible. as possible. And also the microphones are very neutral, but you have to have the guitar in your hand to, to understand how that guitar feels. And uh, I would say what you are hearing is maybe 80%. And if you have the guitar in your hands and play it, there, there will come another 20% of feeling and new overtones and uh, yeah. sound characters to it. Yeah. It will be added. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious about the sound from the other side. Yes. So, Jonathan, let's go.
think the Spanish bite is very pronounced mm-hmm. on this guitar. It sounds from this side much more bigger and open and louder than th- yeah, than yeah, the other side. Yeah, I felt the same yeah, though. From yeah. here now, I mm. feel the guitar is a little bit more yeah, quiet. Yeah, but here, very driving sound, yeah. warm. It's a little bit percussive also, you know. Yeah, like I mean, it's a typical for a flamenco type guitar. I mean, you can, of course, uh, we played now um, classical pieces on it, but completely, um, it's. It's a flamenco guitar. Yeah. Yeah. So again, another amazing masterpiece. Masterpiece. And let's move to the next masterpiece. Okay. The you will see it now. You can work out with this guitar, Jan. Yeah. Oh. I think I, I don't need to go to gym anymore <laughs> if I buy a small man guitar. So I, small so I can save a lot of money. And uh, no, you won't save a lot of money with this guitar. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes you're right. Um, yeah, 2014, Greg Smallman and Son. The most famous Australian, South after Austra- Australian guitar maker. Yeah, I think maybe he's like the godfather of Australian style guitar making. Yeah, I I, I think yeah. a lot of Australian guitar makers can can agree on that. Yeah. And uh, it's also been being played by the biggest John names, Williams. John Williams. Yeah. Um, so the, by the biggest names in the classical guitar world, I can totally understand a lot, why. A lot of French guitarists play small, yeah. small man guitar. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we uh, have of course a cedar, top. cedar top. This is Paduk Bridge. This oh, nice. Paduk Bridge. And it has a lattice bracing. Of course, of course. Uh, struck. Actually, it has some frame inside, you know? Yeah, if you look in the <laughs> under the top, it's, it looks very complicated. <laughs> it's That's heavy. why it's also it's very heavy. heavy. Yeah, and um, first wood back and sides. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, I would say... Let's see. Go ahead. Yeah, I will go. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually that much. No, uh, no, it is that heavy. <laughs> It's Compared heavy. to the yeah. espresso that we just... Of course, but espe- es- espresso. Espresso. I, 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 I Domingo I espresso. <laughs> oh, now, I'm, should we do a break? For no, 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 no. Okay, no, we no, go on. No, no. We move on. Even it's still loud when I close my ears. Sure. First impression is one of the loudest guitar or top ever. three louder guitars uh, guitars ever. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's um, not visible, he- hearable, listenable through the microphone. Oh, yeah, he- 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 audible. He- audible. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what what's the word? Audible. Sponsor. I don't know if you can hear that through the microphones, the loudness of this guitar, but it's it fills the whole room with sound and overtones but i think it's not only the volume the projection, also the projection and the yeah. clarity yeah.
what? To be honest, I just have to touch the <laughs> scream some I the string, to tell the string. You. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's like just. I don't think you need to. You. It's just you. You, you just I, touch I, the string and it sounds. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> bah, yeah. I can understand though why it's uh, why a lot of professional guitarists prefer this guitar. Yeah, I mean, you save a lot of energy by playing this instrument, right? And you need a lot of energy on the stage, so you can uh, use your energy for other things. Yeah. To get l- yeah. less nervous or to think about the musical ideas and not sure. to fight for the sound. Sure. You know? It reacts also, also so long. It's a very good sustain and it reacts very well to your yeah. fingers. To check uh, with the mirror inside the guitar if there is some speakers uh, in the guitar. <laughs> exactly, it's like when you play an uh, acoustic guitar but plugged to amplification. To amplification and the amplification is in the guitar. Yeah, it sounds like built in. Yeah, built in amplification. It's a good idea for. Uh, But I, I feel like in the some way that the guitar amplifies also the mistake. Yeah, <laughs> I mean a very professional guitarist uh, tried this guitar yesterday yeah. um, and he told me also that you have to be also able to control this guitar. Of course it offers you a lot of possibilities. Mm. Uh, but you have to be able to control because sometimes a little touch on a, on, on a you hear it note, yeah you hear the overtones or yeah. the whole note and uh, I wouldn't also recommend to listen to this guitar from this distance mm-hmm. I will have a headache mm-hmm. it's so loud <laughs> but I think it's not the you usually don't do this you don't sit like here and listen to this guitar it's for a, a guitar for a big Concert hall. Yeah, and the other point, uh, like I said, right, the guitar is loud. Everything you hear on this guitar is loud. Yeah. <laughs> Including your mistake. <laughs> Including your mistake. 
This is also not easy to get, you know? Sure. I mean, I'm at Zika's now for two years and this is the first time mm -hmm. that I'm seeing a great small man guitar here. Yeah, the, the top is paper thin. Very thin, yeah. yeah. So no... Um, try to avoid some tapping on the top, on the guitar top. But this is very easy. Yeah. Because it reacts so so Very well. comfortable though, the, yeah. the neck shape. Yeah. All right. right. Wow, what a guitar, a masterpiece. Uh, by the way, you can, uh, I think you can adjust the action here with the hole yeah. here. Yeah. You know, with the mm -hmm. key. Just like electric guitar. <laughs> like electric guitar, yeah. Anyway. Let's move to the last guitar. Let's this jump. Yeah. This guitar needs no introduction. Antonio Marin, Marin Montero. Montero. From Granada. Exactly. Very famous Granada guitar maker. Maybe some consider as the grandfather of mm -hmm. Granada school of guitar making. Definitely. This, uh, this one has a spruce top. From 2018. From 2018. I'm sorry. 2018 spruce top and Indian horsewood back and sides. You know, I think without further ado, yeah. I let you play the guitar. Very good. Familiar. Familiar. You feel home. <laughs> After that small man sound, the big sound, the amplified sound, you feel home again yeah. if you play this. Mm -hmm. So, in general, it has a very Spanish sound, no? traditional, but natural. natural, but it's not thin. It, no, it's a, I don't think it's so. It's still a very full body round. sound and round. a round sound, exactly. <laughs> And Do you agree? feel like the guitar is very light in com because we just had small yeah. man on hand? Yeah. Montero is supposed to be not the lightest guitar. You it know? feels like it a, feels so light. a Stesso guitar. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Stesso feels like toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, after the small man. After um, the weight, I mean the weight, right? Yeah, the yeah, weight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think, um, but it has still a very good volume oh, yeah. and very good projection. Of course, after you played small man, it's uh, you. We need our ears to refresh somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but small man was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very still loud guitar, round sound, but at the same time with a lot of clarity. is just nice you know and the dynamic range I can be l l yeah. very I wanted to say leise leise means quiet quiet in German so mm -hmm. I can be quiet I can be mm -hmm. very very forte yeah. FFF and uh, I can play with the guitar how I want the guitar has been developed you know, yeah. over the years yes it's been played you know and I think it's already open up you know mm -hmm. Uh, for relatively young guitar, spruce yeah. guitar, yeah, it is maybe five years old, five more, years, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe less, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. But uh, also the sound colors. This is the one of the 
main advantages of of uh, Antonio Spanish, Spanish, Spanish and the guitar. Spanish guitars and sure. yeah not only Spanish traditional guitar mm-hmm. you have more color option to to choose from yeah you know? play something cool Yeah, so this was the last week's, no, the last guitar of this week's weekly guitar meeting, the anniversary edition. And, and this is also the last episode? No, don't no, worry, no, don't no, worry. No, 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 no. We will be there still. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these guitars, truly amazing guitars. And as usual, let us know in the comments how they sound for you and which one do you like the most. And compare them to to each other and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do that already jonathan thanks for being here why we shake hand we never did that no, no. i don't know why <laughs> I, I thought it's, it looks more professional but uh, just see you next week ciao ciao